Hello everyone, and welcome back to I Was a Teenage Exo Colonist. We return to our sixth year. Uh, I think we turned 17? I don't know, it's always a little offset, which is weird, but whatever. Um, we have unlocked working for the governor, which is great. We have an event with Mars here, which is also great. Might be her 100 friendship, but probably not yet. Um, I also did a quick look at the endings, too, before uh, starting the recording. We need High Persuasion, which we're about to be maxing, and High Rebellion to overthrow the governor, so... We'll just have to make sure we keep doing rebellious actions. We're doing pretty good right now, but, uh, yeah. It'll be a focus. Alright, Mars, what you got for me? You find Mars frowning over a textbook on her hollow. She flips through the pages with growing disgust, until finally she gestures angrily to dismiss the screen and then drags her hands down her face. Ugh, she exclaims. People totally suck. You slide into the seat next to Mars and she sighs. Oh, is this the capitalism one? I thought we already did a capitalism one. Maybe not. I told my dads about my plan to get the adults to adopt kudos as a way to encourage the arts, and they got really weird about it. Like, they think it's a good idea, but then they told me I should read up about Earth's history. So I did, and you know what I found out? People suck. The whole reason we left Earth was because trading money for stuff was a bad idea. It made a few people rich and everyone else poor, and it destroyed all the culture and people fought and killed each other over it. By the time our parents left Earth, almost everyone worked super hard and was super poor, while like a hundred people barely worked at all and owned private spacecraft. That's so dumb. This colony is the closest humans have come to income equality in thousands of years, but we don't have any passion. And Earth's history is full of people with passion who end up turning into supervillains while everyone else starves. Mars says, crossing her arms. Is that all we're capable of, Garrett? Really? She didn't say my name there, but she'll say it further. She looks at you intently and puts her hand over her heart. I'm a passionate person, Garrett, she says. Is being a despot all I'm capable of? I'm gonna have to work at it. Mars nods with conviction. You're right, Garrett. I'm glad I can always count on you to remind me to be better. There has to be a middle ground between austerity and inequality, Mars continues. I don't want to have everything while everyone else has nothing. Like, yes, obviously I want to colonize this stupid rock, Mars continues. I want massive cities and glass skyscrapers and flying cars. I want to not have to fight off aliens every year. I want to pave over all those these scungled pollen trees and kill the stupid bugs. I want air conditioning. What about room service? I just want everyone to have everything, even the stuff that the adults think doesn't matter. We can't live the, like animals just because of the boogeymen of our past. Hell yeah preach. Well, one day, I'm gonna be running this place, Mars says. And just you wait, Garrett. I'm not gonna let us fall into the same patterns we did on Earth. We have to take care of each other and master this planet, but we also can't forget what makes life worth living. Luxury. What do you think, Garrett? Mars asks. Do you think I'm on the right track? We need this to get the merchant ending. Another life. Yes, I think so. Mars smiles. Good, because I'm gonna make it happen. Nah, we'll make it happen together. Alright, nothing over here. Do I have a gift for Cal? I probably have a gift for Cal. Hey, Kelly, you want a present? Yeah. Have a bobber fruit. My treat, buddy. We got dice and possibly no me out here. No, just dice. Hey, dice, dicey dice. Ooh, yes. Value is wild. Our first wild card of this run, I think. But also, I was here to give you a present. I don't really have anything you want. 
Yeah. Never mind. No present for you. We shared a fun moment instead. You're a dink. Hi, Anemone. I have no business with you in this life. Or you, really. Anything in engineering we want? No. How are we doing on stress? 38. We should be good to go for a while. I know last episode I was doing a bit of photo phonering. So as to build our creativity a little bit. But I think we will start the year off by doing our job. Which should max out our persuasion if we get the good part of it. You wrestle with the voice dictation software. You would think that it would be a problem humanity solved by now, considering congruence can understand and take action on casual conversation. But understanding and transcribing are apparently different arts entirely. You waste days going through reports and ensuring that punctuation marks are in the right places and indented lists are formatted correctly. In the distant future, some archaeologists may want to know exactly what was said in the council meeting on the third day of dust six years after planetfall, and you'd hate for them to catch a typo. How embarrassing. Right? I feel you. Uh, that's a good card to get locked there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's do it like this. Ooh, super goal. Best we could have gotten. Yep, that's maxed out persuasion. That's two stats maxed out now. Very specialized. The suns rise again after glow, heralding a new year. It's your 16th birthday. You wake in your new quarters, blinking into the watery sunlight. Dust motes float through the air, and you take a moment to enjoy the perfection of your bed while you listen to the sounds of the colony waking up outside. Alright, who's knocking? Oh, hey, Mars. Happy birthday, beautiful! Mars says, it really is your best friend, that's cool. Breezing into your room and depositing air kisses on your cheeks. Mwah, mwah. She steps back and tousles your hair. I'm loving this bed head look, she says. Tray chic. It's so cool to look like you don't care what other people think. She sits on your bed and primly crosses her legs. Speaking of what other people think, have you heard the gossip? Apparently Cal and Tammy are a thing now. It's true. I saw them cuddling in the lounge. Your parents wake up shortly after that and you order up your traditional birthday breakfast feast. Dad gives you a big squeezy hug and tells you he's proud of you. So we got some 10 stress off. We're actually a little bit less than what we started the episode with. Not bad. Plus one to social increase as well. I mean, neat. That'll help with our creativity. I should probably try and get empathy and bravery up a little bit. Although we have the cape to help us out here. I don't really care about any of these three. I don't think I need them too much. Perception would be nice. And a little bit, uh, first toughness perk would be nice. I don't think there's gonna be anything new. Yeah, looks like nothing new. really interacted with you too much. You can actually have a present. And you, I think, need a hug? Indeed. Thanks for the hug, my guy. Oh, Tammy has something. I think she's nervous about Cal. Oh! Birthday cake, obviously. Okay. Plus one of the mental skill increases too for the next couple months because we mastered a perk. Or mastered a skill. Let's get back to assisting the governor. As assistant, you have access to a great deal of information that would be otherwise classified. It's only your sense of propriety that keeps you from looking up the resolutions of arguments long past or records of complaints against people you know. 
It's kind of sad how most of the governor's work is just mediating conflicts. Seems like there are some things that humanity couldn't leave behind on Earth. Oh, of course. There's always going to be... It's always going to be conflict. You can't pretend that you can create a perfectly happy society with no conflict whatsoever. There's always going to be people who disagree on the way things are run. People who think that, you know, maybe you're not doing the best or what have you. Ooh, 59 somehow. We... Oh, okay. Somehow we had a streak going there. Could have gotten to 63 somehow, wow. Six persuasion, wow. Not, neither of these matter, which is very sad. We're not getting any skills right doing this work, but it is what we need to do, obviously. Late quiet. All right, let's maybe do a bit of photophonering, which is creativity and I think a little bit of bravery. We have the cape at the very least, which should help. You can't practice all the time. When you're not making music, you enjoy long walks through the colony to help you find inspiration for your next piece. Like that tree. Or that broken ladder. Hmm. There's not a lot around the colony you haven't seen yet. True that. Cool. I feel like 48 is probably the best we're getting here. Yeah, because these cards are too jumbled for a proper streak. 51? Okay. Yeah, creativity and bravery. We are one away from ranking up in creativity, which is pretty nice. I'm sure it's somebody's birthday right now. Oh, hey, Mars. Yeah, we'll talk to you. Alright, what you got for me? Oh. If you're looking for Mars, so you just follow the sound of arguing until you track her down outside the bridge. I can't believe how short-sighted you're all being, she fumes. Do you think we can just take this planet by force by killing everything that threatens us? It's like you've never thought about anything be other than your own ego for one second in your stupid life. Who do you think you are? Lum roars. You would all be dead in the ground if it weren't for me and my soldiers. We're the only thing standing between this colony and destruction. And that's the problem, Mars retorts sticking her finger in Lum's face. You only care about defense, and not about growth. She gestures wildly all around her. This place is a backwater. There's nothing here worth protecting, she continues. We need to start thinking about economic and social policies that encourage growth and creativity, or all we're ever going to do is scrape by a miserable existence on the stupid fungus rock. What do you think we're doing? Lum counters. We can't grow until the enemy is defeated. There will be time for all of your... He waves his hand at Mars' extravagant outfit. Nice jewelry and fancy clothing when our work is done. He crosses his arms, looking smug. You think you can just walk in here and tell me what to do, little girl? You don't know the first thing about what it's like to run a colony. You just play pretend. At Mars' shocked look, he continues. Yeah, I know about your you, you and your little club, Lum sneers. You're a rich little princess playing politics. You should go back to what you're good at, looking pretty. Now, I would step in, but I think we've encountered this once before, and she didn't like that when we did that. Plus, I kind of feel like she would get a little pissed that I, I stepped in and fought her battle. 
At least I'm doing politics and not just jerking off my buddies about killing things, Mars spits. If every eye in the room wasn't on her before, it sure is now. When Lum is sputtering, Mars tosses her hair over her shoulder and smirks. See, it's not so nice when other people do it, is it? Mudslinging politics is so old earth, she coos. But don't worry, I don't take your lack of class personally. Get out! Lum roars, and Mars turns on her heel and leaves command, grabbing you on the way out. Interesting. I wish to be a little more rebellious, though. Yeah, I, I think we would, like, lose a few friendship points with Mars if we had, uh, stepped in there. Time and a place, you know? She had that. Oh, I don't need to relax now. Practice photophoner. You make a game of following people around the colony, creating a soundtrack to their lives. <laughs> the best! <laughs> is when someone trips and you make the photophoner make a waka waka noise and fill the air with party streamers you're not terribly popular this month oh i'd love that that'd be hilarious 100 percent support that plus two bonus to pairs eh i don't know how many pairs we're going to have but Forty eight, forty eight, forty eight. Forty eight. It's too bad that uh this is kinda doing that. Otherwise we'd have a pretty good streak going. Could have gotten a fifty one. Seventy creativity and Um, 43 bravery. Ah, uh, good old Shimmer. The year it would have been fatal. I've never actually seen uh, Dad die from the Shimmer. I suppose I'll have to at some point to view the art. Small skills boost. 5% chance to gain one extra skill? Well, that's decent. Is it like a random skill or related to... Related to whatever one we're currently gaining. So it won't really help us much right now. But it is decent. Oh, we're wrestling with voice dictation again. Wow, that streak was way better than this uh, pair bonus, but I guess that's because we have the times two. That has to be the best, right? Hell yeah. Hmm. Alright, I'm willing to do one more to see if anything actually happens. Otherwise, I think we're going to have to wait for um, events to otherwise trigger. It's just going to give me the, the random ones, you know? Not an actual scripted one. You want to make sure that you don't miss anything timed, but at the same time, you also don't want to uh, waste all of your time. Mars is excellent at playing the game of politics and command. Her strategy is an even split between ingratiating herself to those in power and bullying everyone else. She's rarely mean. She just always knows exactly what buttons to push to pressure people into doing what she wants. It's kind of awe-inspiring to watch when you're not the target of it. I could see that. Okay. Six, five, four, six, three, 
first collectible use is free. Oh, you know what then? Boom. That's a little bit better. It's a bit more focused. And yet it doesn't win. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I kind of messed that up for myself. Yeah, whatever. What are you gonna do? I think we can go do babysitting to get our empathy up. I'd like to maybe get the next perk for that. Oh, we don't have babysitting. That must not be this life. We do get empathy from helping in the kitchens, though. Maybe we'll just go more on the photophoner. You practice the photophoner. You think you're getting pretty good. You hear from the new... Oh, that's not new. Yeah. We're the only one who does it, which automatically means we're the best. Card gets plus two, eh? Eight before, didn't we? Ooh, look at that. 52. How do. Oh, 567. I see, I see. Nice. I kind of stumbled into that one, but I will absolutely take it. Vertumnalia. I feel like this one will be big, so I'll read it. Lum takes the stage to fanfare and applause. Hello, people of Vertumna! He exclaims over the din. Happy Vertumnalia! Okay, uh, victory, we're all amazing, humans are cool. Oh, this is the secret admirer. Right, right, right. Do the talent show, because of course we will. I'm sorry, I'm not doing Rebellion by not taking part of Vertumnalia. It's just, it's just not a thing. We'll get Rebellion in other ways. Uh, sure. 106, wow. Okay, we're gonna have to do some of this science stuff. Can we mix that a little bit better? Not really. 57. This will be tough. We don't have very high of cards. And we have this boring as one of them. I need to get rid of that. I think I have two or something. 31 is not enough. Can we get a whole redraw? It's a little bit better. little bit. Forty-one. Forty-eight. Ah! Fifty-seven. They gave us the three, four, five, six, seven. Yup. Beautiful. Get absolutely dunked on. play a complex song on the photophoner, pairing it with surreal visuals incorporating strange, dripping plants and many-eyed animals. The crowd is stunned and amazed by your artistic vision. Hi. Hi, Tammy. What's on your mind, girl? Oh, right. Obviously, this time around, it's going to be... Where is she? Aha! 
Aha. Mars. Mars is painting her nails outside command, her head bobbing along to something only she can hear through her hear speak. She shoots you a distracted smile when she sees you, gesturing to turn off her music. What's poppin', Garrett? Are you my secret admirer? Mars grins mischievously. You figured it out? Hmm? I knew you would. I like you too. Well, isn't that convenient? She brushes the hair off her shoulder and stands up straighter. When did she get so... tall? You know, I think this colony needs a power couple. I think what this colony needs, she continues, so people can, can look up to us and think, oh, wow, that could be me one day. She leans in and smiles charmingly. This close, her undivided attention is overwhelming. She has a way of making the rest of the world disappear. What do you think, Garrett? How about you and I show everyone what they're missing? What, like dating? Sounds fun, I'm in. <laughs> then it's start settled, she says. I'm glad you agree. I knew you had excellent taste. She leans in and kisses you, right there where everyone could see. You hear a Rex wolf whistle from a distance, but Mars, of course, isn't ashamed. She just curls her fingers in your belt loops and pulls you closer. Nice. After a minute that seems like an hour, she takes your hand. Fair warning, gorgeous. I am a demanding girlfriend, she says. Jewelry, clothes, sweets. I want it all. She lightly taps uh, the tip of your nose. For now, though, I'll go easy on you. I've got the afternoon off. What do you want to do with it? My place. Your bedroom is so much nicer than mine, Mars complains as she sits on your bed. I hope you don't mind if we spend a lot of time here. Nice. You and Mars, aw, that's, I like the heart. You and Mars make the most of your afternoon. By dinner, you have some pretty interesting new marks you'll have to learn how to hide. Yep. Making out. If card to the right is, okay, okay, that's pretty decent. Absolutely love it. Mars surveys the colony like a queen regarding her subjects. I've been thinking about ways to improve this trash heap, she says. And the problem is getting people to listen to my ideas. They still think I'm just some kid. She scoffs. As if. If they think of me as a child, they'll be all the more surprised when I'm running this place. Mars lifts one eyebrow, smiling secretively. For you, darling? Of course. Probably should have waited a little bit, but we'll get us back to zero. What did you have in mind? Actually, hold that thought, Mars says, holding a finger to your lips. I've been run absolutely ragged. How about we queue up a hall of it and chill? If you rub my feet, I promise I'll make it up to you later. Fair trade. Sounds like a great idea. You camp up in Mars' quarters and throw up a hall of it you've both seen a hundred times. And Mars drops her feet in your lap. Feels good to do something nice for Mars. And she's right. She always rewards you handsomely for your care and attention. No further explanation needed. Alright, that has been a very productive conversation. I think it's time to see if anything changed in command. Well, let's check over here for a quick. I think I also forgot to check outside the gate in Pollen. That's a, ooh, that's a maybe. I see you up here. Don't think I don't. All right, anything outside? Just a sulky dice. Cheer up, Dicey Poo. I think you're actually gonna get to blow up the wall this year for this playthrough. Without a doubt, Seek is the only person in the colony who cares so much about paperwork. Despite that, you can do literally everything on your holopom or rely on Congruence's eidetic memory Seek insists that there is a truthfulness about working with actual physical paper that simply cannot be replicated with digital means. How did someone like Seek get to be in a position of power? Did they start out such a stickler for doing things in the old Earth ways? Or is this like a sick control thing for them? Indeed. That's a pretty good hand. 
card becomes three is not ideal, but I can do that. Or I can do that. It's pretty decent. Could have gotten a 46. We're not really earning stat points when we work in command, though. That's more for advancing our career. Let's just get right back in there. Dictation again. Okay, I think we're not going to have anything for this for a bit, so we can kind of spend the rest of the year doing whatever. Four, five, six. We gotta remember streaks are a bit better than flushes for us right now because of our equipment. And welcome to wet. Anyone have anything new? Does not appear to be that way. some more photophonery. You practice in your quarters, trying not to bother anyone. In between practicing, you watch hollow videos and take naps. It's a pretty relaxing experience, except for the fact that you don't seem to be getting any better at the photophoner. Maybe you should, be get, maybe you should get out of bed. You're starting to go flat on one side. Pancake. So first card gets plus two, that's not bad. And we're just going to ignore the proximity of these two, actually. <laughs> um, we'll do that. So that's 50. I don't think we can really do much better for those. Yeah, could have scraped another point out of there somewhere. That's fine. Still gaining plenty of stat points. In fact, we've almost got creativity maxed out. If we keep getting six, then it'll only take three more times of doing... In fact, we can max out our creativity this year. If we don't do any more assisting in command... Oh, hi, Nomi. What's up? Cartoons. We will totally weeb out with them. That's a good card to have. Let's, let's do some more photo filming. Why not? I probably won't do a glow photo filming though. <laughs> when you're playing, when you're playing the photo filming, you can't help but populate your holograms with images of Mars. Ah, young love. Oh, that's a terrible spot for that one. Um. Okay. Make out with ourselves. That at least boosts that one a bit. Could have gotten a 55. Wow. Anyone else have anything for me? Da 
does not appear to be that way. Yeah, that's fine. Do you like cake? Let's find out. Kind of stacking up these cakes. Nah, not especially. Okay. Like, she'll take it, but... It's not her thing. You've practiced so much and decide to record yourself playing. Whether you show it to anybody else or not is up to you. But you want to remember this. And who knows, maybe recordings of your earlier works will be held up someday as some of the earliest recorded Vertumnan culture. What will you play? Turbo Girl Hyper Jet Transform theme, I approve. An easy song, boo. Improvisational jazz, classical music. I gotta do it. It's half what I listen to IRL, basically. Card gets plus three. Okay. So four. kind of doesn't really work, but we'll get rid of some of those smaller cards. Interesting. Why not? Fifty-six. We can do this. Nine, six, five. Five, five. Alright, so we've got a five, nine, six, six, nine. Let's at least do that. What? Oh, because it's the making out bonus. Right. I want to put the 9 with the 9. Okay, there we go. That's 52. Those are both bonuses. What if we do... That. 54. I could just brute force it with that. Apparently we couldn't get any other higher anyway, so that works. Nomi's favorite. Well, you have to share the video with at least Nomi. They'll love it. Try to get the visuals right. Are the girls airplanes with human legs or human torsos with airplane bodies? Wow. The recorded vid is so good, you have a sudden flash of bravery and upload it to the holonet. Before long, the kudos are pouring in. Even Mars and Aunt Anne leave comments saying they didn't think the photo phoner could be mastered, but you've done it. You resolve to start sharing more videos like this in the future. Oh cool, coloring the world. Neighbors become wild. That's a good card. We got 51 kudos out of it. So we unlocked the rewards for that. I think that means that we'll get kudos every time we do it now. Oh yeah, because we didn't get six out of that one. We only got four. So we need uh, two more photophoners. But I guess we'll do that next year. Where is my crystal? Give me my crystal! Don't you be daring to hide me, Crystal! Glow is so pretty. Oh, a bit cheaping out! I see no Crystal! I see a blue bobber fruit, though, that's neat. But it's not being a Crystal! Those cheap sons of bitches! Absolutely gutted. How could they do this to me? Ah, there it is! They were just being cheeky about it! Well, that's entirely unacceptable. Alright. 
Lum isn't the kind of governor who's happy to sit in his chair and make decisions. He likes to be outside, with the people, even though his presence usually brings productivity down wherever he goes. As his assistant, it's your job to discreetly manage where he goes and how often, keeping the different departments happy and functional. You learn quickly how to manage from below without Lum catching on to how much work you need to do just to preserve his image. Yeah, I bet. First collectible use is free. Okay. Six, six. Ooh, value is wild, though. Forty... Fifty-two, there we go, I knew we could abuse that. Could've gone to fifty-six, eh? Hmm. Alright, what flavor of attack do we have today? Two massive faceless, woo. Yeah, we're not going outside. Just hearing people shouting about the faceless triggers panic. Your chest clenches, your guts roll and royal, and you break out in a cold sweat. You're of no use to anyone like this, best to just stay inside. Pull the covers up over your head and try to calm down. Every so often you hear more of those deep whoop noises and the zzz of plas rifles. They get louder, so close you can differentiate the massive footfalls of the creatures and what must be the heliopause's explosives. Ah, uh, yes, this is where they detonate in the main square. Yeah. Do not have Colony Defense 7, because we have not improved it. I think it, uh, you started at 6 or 5. Oh! I got hit by a shrapnel. So what, I am injured now? Physical skill increases reduced by one. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I don't care. Ah, and we are now our adult forms. And once again, something with Mars awaits us when we start next time. But for now, this is where we are going to leave it off for today. If you like this video, want to see more like it, all that good stuff, be sure to subscribe, comment down below, tell me your favorite part, if you've got any more tips and tricks. You guys have been helping me a lot with this series, by the way. Just people in the comments being like, hey, by the way, you can do this, or by the way, there's a secret thing with this. So I really appreciate that from you guys. But I will see you all next time for some more I Was a Teenage Exo Colonist. Bye-bye.